The Porter Wagoner Show, starring Porter Wagoner and the Wagon Masters, with Norma Jean and guest star Bill Anderson. <laughs> Say what? <laughs> you, you, I know what you thought. You thought it was Benny Williams, didn't you? <laughs> but it ain't, it's me, boy. Steve Bob T. <laughs> I just wanted to show you my versatility. I also can throw the banjo. Yeah. Here's the star of our show, Porter Wagoner. I know down in Tennessee where the tall pines grow, hidden from the world in a bunch of pines where the moon's a little bankful and it seldom shines. Civilized people live there all right, but they all go native on a Saturday night. The music is a fiddle and a flat guitar. They get the kicks from an old blue jar. They do the boogie to an old square dance. The woods are full of couples looking for romance. Somebody takes it. Knocks out the line, they all go native on a Saturday night. Now, when they get together, there's a lot of fun. They all know the other fella packs a gun. Everybody does his best to act just right Cause it's gonna be a funeral if you start a fight They shuffle and they scuffle to brawl delight Yes, they all go native on a Saturday night Well, now you've heard my story about the place I know Down in Tennessee where the tall pines grow Hidden from the world in a bunch of pines Where the moon's a little bashful and it seldom shine. Civilized people live there all right But they all on a Saturday night. <laughs> Thank you and howdy and welcome to our Black Draft Soda Show for this week. Nice to have you with us. Whew. There ain't much of a breathing place in that Tennessee Saturday night. That's really what happens in Tennessee too, by the way. We have a wonderful guest star for you this time. A boy who has written many, many wonderful songs and also makes some fine records for Decca. So let's get him out here right now and do one of the songs that he has uh, written, the boy from down in Georgia. And we're gonna do a little business on the guitar here. I'm gonna loan him my old Martin here. Bill Anderson, hey, right yeah. over here. Yeah. Bill, it's real nice to have you with us, Thank man. Thank you, Porter. I'm just poor folks, I can't afford my own guitar. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... Well, you just go ahead and get ready here, Bill. You wrote a song, uh, oh, back, Three or four years ago, wasn't it? Actually, I wrote it in 1957, and it was recorded in 58. This is a real pretty one. It's become one of the standards of the country music field, and also in the pop field, too. How about doing it for us, Bill? Thank you, Porter. I'd love to. I imagine you're talking about City Lights, aren't right you? Right Thank you. As far as I can see, the great white way shines through the night for lonely guys like me. The cabarets and honky tonks, their flashing signs invite a broken heart to lose itself in the glow of city lights. The lights that save. In a glass of sherry wine Lights that offer other girls Or empty hearts like mine They paint a pretty picture Of a world that's gay and bright But it's just a mask for loneliness Behind those Things don't turn out right 
Are we just supposed to run and hide behind those city lights? Lights that say forget her love in a different atmosphere. Lights that lure on but a mask. My arms can't hold them tight And I just can't say I love you To a street of city life That's real fine Don't go too far Because we want you to come back And do the big one A little later on Poor folks I tell you, that tea is feeling right today, man. You know, it's feeling good. Does he well, sing? I want to sing. Well, now just uh, hold it a second. In a real We've... city life, these lights get me hot to sing, <laughs> boy. I'm ready. <laughs> We've My got horses and cream. We're going to have you sing a little later on, but we've got somebody off of Purdy to sing right now. Oh. You're going to enjoy it, too, I think. Yeah. So you want to play bass fiddle with it? Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have you back up here in a little while. Right now, Pretty Miss Norma Jean to come out here and say <laughs> Norma, you got a good one picked out for us this I time? I think so. I hope Steck's not mad at me. He won't be. <laughs> We'd like to do one that's kind of a old tune. This is a Hank Williams number one called Why Don't You Love Me Like You Used To Do. I know that uh, Speck, after hearing you sing that, pretty, he'll be glad that he waited till later on in the program. Mm -hmm. Right now, we would like to do a little trio song for you. This is one we've had some requests for, too. And thanks for writing in to us. All of your cards and letters are always real welcome. And uh, as we have told you before, mm -hmm. anytime you do want to drop us a line, just send it in to hear the station that you're looking into the program. Let us know where you're at, and we'll kind of remember you. Everything she touches gets the blues. Someone else 
is helping her to chew. I only know my heart is broken. Everything she touches gets the blue. Everything she touches gets the blues. T, your feelings are good today. Now, we want to get you to help us out in the band. I'd this, be glad to. This guy is, does about everything. He's a drummer, a guitar player. Uh, and a poor grade of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how about playing drums with us on an instrumental? You don't suppose little Jack Little would feel harsh to We're going to have him play fiddle, and we're just going to... I'd like to. All right. Here we go with uh, Benny... And T. Tommy and Jack and Speck and everybody on one called the Weeping Willow. Here we go. On the same side, I want to show you my card. There it is. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, that's fine, Pete. Thank you a whole lot, man. The guy is terrific. He stirs that drum over there, don't he? Right now, it's time for us to listen to Down in Skunk Holler and see if uh, Speck ain't got somebody on the line. Let's listen. Hello, Sadie. <laughs> Hook me up down at the newspaper office. I want to talk to Colonel Newsom. I got a hot story for him. Yeah. Hello, Colonel. This is Speck. I got a hot story for you. Yeah, I want you to write up a story about T. Tommy, the offbeat drummer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's a fine musician. Yeah, I was looking at the paper you had out yesterday. Yeah. Some article there about some doctor. He says there's a million real fat women in this country. Yeah, I was reading that. I guess that's what you'd call the round figures. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I noticed that other than there too, you know, about them all them pretty girls in bathing beauty. Yeah. Now this, uh, let's talk about that for a minute. Them pictures, them my Hollywood beauties in the paper. Them bathing suits were mighty skimpy, wasn't it? Yeah, I bet them girls' doctors sure had a problem. Yeah, real problem, trying to figure out where to vaccinate them so their scar wouldn't show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. 
Tommy's not the only guy that's done good in Skunk Holler. No, we got a boy right here in town. I, he's a movie star. Old Stem Strainer. Mm -hmm. He's visiting in town this week. I just saw his mother down the street. I said to her, I said, Stem, I said, uh, Mrs. Uh, Strainer, I said, I seen Stem in town today. I said, did he bring his wife home with him? She said, Speck, she said, he's brought his wife home with him for the past three years. And she says, I tell you one thing. They're three of the prettiest girls you ever saw. <laughs> well, I got to go now. Bring the picture of this drummer down there. Old offbeat Tom, we call him. Okay. We'll go. Goodbye. Got to go to the store and get me some soapy. Goodbye. It's hymn time now on our program, and here's one that's been a favorite with me and the boys and the quartet for a long, long time. Angel Band. My latest son is sinking fast. My race is nearly run. My strongest trials now are past. My triumph has begun. Oh, Thank you, fellas, for helping me, and thank you, folks, for your wonderful request for our sacred songs, too. Now it's time for our guest to come back once again, and uh, this boy has written many, many wonderful songs, and his uh, latest one, I think, is one of his best. Maybe it's just because it's kind of new and we haven't heard it as much as the other, but we want to get him to sing it for us right now. Bill Anderson and Popo. So here he is. There's a whole lot of people looking down their noses at me Cause I didn't come from a wealthy family There was ten of us living in a two-room shack On the banks of the river by the railroad track We kept chickens and a pen in the back And everybody said we was poor folks my daddy was a farmer, but all he ever raised was us. <laughs> Dug a 40-foot well for 36 gallons of dust. The Salvation Army gave us clothes to wear. A man from the county came to cut our hair. We lived next door to a millionaire, but we was nothing but hope. Front door, he 
Kidding you a little bit there. Thank you very much. That's wonderful. Thanks a lot, Bill, and come back and Thank you real for We enjoyed it very much. And keep turning out the good songs. Thank you. We're real proud to have Bill on the show. Wasn't nothing but poor folk. Speaking yeah. of poor folk, look, here's some here's some old poor folks, I'll tell yeah. you. I don't know. I haven't got time to sing my song again again. No, Speck, I'm well. sorry, but I know that you have enjoyed the the other folks singing yeah. there. We'll say my voice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We'll say you know, I was thinking though about uh, uh they singing poor folks and everything. I was thinking about I'm a poor boy, I got married a few years ago and you know, I, me and my wife are low. <laughs> You're alone. <laughs> yeah. I climbed the ladder up to a window and I knocked on the window like that, see? She says, Shh, be quiet. Daddy might my my dad might catch it. I said, That's all right, he's down there holding the ladder for <laughs> Oh, my, folks, the time is all gone for this time. Thanks, we'll get to you on the next show. <laughs> 